Well, your local weather authority with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. A dense fog advisory was issued by the National Weather Service, so it does include every all of our viewing area except the northeastern parts of it, and this will last until 11 a.m. Eastern time. Current visibility conditions, Terre Haute right now is up to full visibility nearly at nine miles. Paris is down to three. Champaign, though, is down to a quarter of a mile of visibility, along with Danville and Mattoon. Robinson down to a half a mile of visibility, along with Vincennes and Washington. So just be careful if you are traveling out the door this morning. Again, that does expire 10 a.m. Central Time or 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Temperatures though across the valley, 41 degrees right now in Terre Haute, 38 degrees in Paris, 41 also in Mattoon, 40 degrees in Robinson, and then 42 in Vincennes, so upper 30s and then lower 40s. Winds right now are light, so that's why we don't have a lot of that fog mixing out right now, and humidity is higher. Robinson winds are calm, 5 miles per hour in Terre Haute, 3 miles per hour in Paris, and then 7 miles per hour in Champaign. The system that brought us rain showers last night and overnight yesterday is now bringing snow to areas in Michigan, areas like Toronto. So we did see a couple of thunderstorms overnight. Those have moved even eastward past Indianapolis now, bringing clouds in with that system. So today, partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies on our future cast. Lots of cloud coverage, but we don't have any chances for rain. Rain chances do arrive, though, as we get into about 5 p.m. tomorrow evening, so as people are leaving for work. Some thunder Thunderstorms will be included in these in areas in oranges and yellows. Nothing severe from this, though, but a couple of them could be stronger as well. We did get the rumbles of thunder and flashes of lightning overnight last night. And then rain chances will last really off and on as we get through parts of Thursday and then clear out by Friday morning. Rainfall totals, though, over the next 48 hours, about half an inch of rainfall in Terre Haute, but nothing for today through 4 p.m. on Wednesday. All this is going to come after 4 p.m. on Wednesday, so about half an inch of rainfall there. Areas of blue are heavier, areas of green are lighter. Winds are going to pick up, not today and not tomorrow. As we get into Thursday morning around this time, they do pick up about 15 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour at the most. Gusts are going to be stronger than that, though. The rain doesn't really move out until we get to Friday, so by 7 a.m. on Friday, it completely moves southeastward of here, so we're in the clear after that. Friday and Saturday and Sunday, so all weekend does look nice if you have any outdoor plans. Temperatures also will be above average. Yesterday was below average, and then the next chance for rain after that looks to come on Tuesday, so clear up until that. But severe risk categories, nothing for us today except areas southwest of here. They're under a slight risk category, and then severe risk for Wednesday near Effingham is under a marginal risk. But areas just south of here, a moderate risk of severe weather. That's included in isolate. We're just going to see a couple isolated severe thunderstorms that are possible mainly Wednesday into Thursday. But areas in the reds you see, areas in the panhandle on Saturday was under a moderate risk and they had several tornadoes. So tornadoes can be expected there with severe weather likely to happen. And then Thursday, most of our viewing areas under a marginal risk. So some isolated thunderstorms are possible as far as severe goes. 57 though is the high for today. Widespread fog in the morning and then clearing turning to mostly cloudy skies. Winds will be out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. 40 one then is the overnight low with partly cloudy skies. Cooler temperatures just like we woke up with today and then close to 70 degrees tomorrow. That's the next chance for rain, Nicole.